Coming up today on Better, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We're taking you to a high-risk center in our state that's providing the best care. Plus, better books. As the weather gets colder, sit down in front of a fire and crack open one of our picks. And recipe of the week. This one's easy, so hopefully we won't mess it up. Your day is about to get better, starting right now. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Better Connecticut. Happy Wednesday. Oh, my gosh. The sun came out. Yesterday was one of those, uh, do I have sad disorder? <laughs> Everyone, I'm we picked up a pretty good amount of rain. Hi, everybody. Scott Haney here. Nice to see all of you on Better Connecticut at uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. It's a pleasure to be with you. It's a pleasure to be with you. And I just want to keep a good thought and I prayer know. for My Dash, your cat. So if Scott seems a little bit off, tired. My cat. He, I went home yesterday. He was like a cat. A, it was a different cat. He was lethargic. He wasn't eating. He, I took him to the, you know, I took him to the vet, and we spent two hours there. If, and um, they took some blood work. They're going to get back to me today. Yeah. But uh, he was up in the middle of the night, and so was I. Yeah. So we were both up late last. We were in the middle of the night. He's going to be 18 now, like, right? He's going to be 18. Wow. I mean, so prayers for Dash. Prayers for Dash. And the good thing is, you can have a sugar rush because it's National Dessert Day. What's your favorite dessert? Chocolate souffle. If I wasn't making it, like uh, the best thing I could ever have would be chocolate souffle. What, what, is that is that f foamy and airy or? It's um, you know Adam Young from Sifte yeah, yeah, yeah. has made it before. Okay. You can't, it's hard to get it. Only certain restaurants yeah, have it. I was going to say it. I don't really it's, see it too much. You can't eat it very often. But no. there's a place I like to go to uh, that is in Rhode Island that has it, and I not sure. Sometimes they're on special menus, mm -hmm. but yes, it's it's um. It's eggs and sugar. I go to Newport and eat my chocolate souffle. <laughs> I lead a very it's fancy old, life. <laughs> it's more old-fashioned, I think, than fancy. It's just Mine like, is strawberry shortcake. Yes. Strawberry shortcake, but you're saying... Well, the real way is like with the... I said, with I'll the, make it for you with, you know, the biscuit, And I would biscuits, love that. But you said, no, I like the strawberry shortcake cake, which isn't really right. strawberry well, shortcake. Right, when you go into a diner and you get the strawberry shortcake cake, it's got like strawberries in the middle with cake. Real cake. The real cake. The real cake, which real isn't cake. strawberry shortcake. I guess it's strawberry shortcake, shortcake cake. And well, anyway, well, it's good to treat yourself. <laughs> no matter what it is that you like, get out there and eat it up today because it's National Dessert Day, Kara. Mm -hmm. Well, if I can't get souffle, which is hard to get, I do just like a good old chocolate chip cookie. Nothing better than that. Or brownie. I think we have chocolates today, chocolate chips. We're, they're a part of the recipe of the week. Okay, yes, the recipe of the week. <laughs> which is going to be a disaster, but it's part of the recipe of the week. Uh, and tonight, if you're looking for some new TV, which we all are, right, uh, you can kick off with the amazing race tonight. Yeah, it was done before the pandemic. So if you're wondering why they don't have masks and nobody else in the world has masks, it was all done pre-pandemic. What is it, the 32nd, Kara? Is, what, is that what I read? Something like that? 11 teams? Uh, yeah, the 32nd race kicks off from the iconic Hollywood Bowl in Los Angeles. And each team is compromised of two people who sometimes we know them, sometimes we don't, sometimes they borrow from other reality shows, sometimes they're just ordinary people like us. You know, it's exciting, and I think... Even if you're not an Amazing Race fan before, watching it now and watching oh, yeah. people travel all over the world, it's going to give some much-needed fantasy for people. I, I think it's a, it's totally a great show. It's won so many uh, the shooting uh, is Emmys. Incredible. Emmys. It's just an But just because we all show. would love to maybe go somewhere and we can't right now, it's nice to watch that. Exactly. That people going all over the world. And I'm completely caught up on Big Brother, so if anybody has any questions or who they think is going on the block, I mean who they think is going home this week, I think I can weigh in, but I will not spoil it right here on TV. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So maybe you've been participating in Amazon Prime. I have But not. now Walmart is talking about Black Friday deals with amazing... The cuts. whole month. Yeah, the whole month. Of November. It's not going to be Black Friday anymore. It's they, just going to be they, they Black got a, Month. They got a TV for $88. Really? Yeah. What kind? A 43-inch <laughs> UHD television for $88. I don't know the brand. That's a UHD. I don't know what a UHD, Universal High de Ultra, Ultra High, high Def. Def. Thank oh. you, Adam. See, we work in TV, but we don't know much I, we, about it. I'm on the TV. <laughs> I don't know how to do it, though. I, I, I don't know how to get in the TV. The good thing is, is you don't even have to do anything except schedule a contact-free curbside pickup. So oh, that's great. That's what's very dangerous about shopping right now. It's so easy. You're like, buy one click. Sure. Pick up in two hours. Someone puts it in your car. I know. I, 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 BJ's hasn't 
had bounty towels in two weeks. I, I like, where is the bounty towels? I've got towels? plenty because I do Amazon subscribe. Well, now I'm doing Am I So I ordered. I took your advice. I ordered it through Amazon. It came in a big box, and now I got bounty towels. This is why it'll give you more time to shop at local boutiques, like support uh, all the wonderful restaurants in downtown Hartford, which they're really asking people to come back and eat That's there. That's just so funny. Irene and I were just talking about this the other day. Yes. When you, in your absence on Monday, we were talking about oh, this. Oh, you're right. We, it, you know, Black Eyed Sally's is open, Max Downtown, salute. Vaughn's, Salute. They really need people to come down there because... I think I'm going to Salute Saturday night. I'm not sure. And Jimmy yeah, will give Jimmy. you amazing bread. You get you get that amazing bread. Why not? That's the whole, the whole part of the whole reason to My go. My kids call it the best bread in the whole universe. Are the martinis there? Unbelievable. So That's this all is, I'm saying. This is a new trend, too, speaking of shopping. It says a lot of Americans plan to do their holiday shopping with new store credit cards. I, I don't think this is that a good idea. That doesn't sound like a great no, idea. I mean, I know you get good discounts. Right. Get the discount, and if you pay it off immediately, so it's a good deal. So often people don't pay it off. And what is, the, I don't know why. It's like why. 25%, 30% interest on some of these cards. It's mm. nuts. They say 44% of the people who sign up to get these cards regret it. They regret it because they build up these uh, balances. But you they don't do get amazing more. rewards. Like every now and then you go to Macy's and they're like, do you have your Macy's card? And you're thinking, I wish I did because I, I, I was going to get all these things. Right. But if you don't pay it off, it can be really dangerous. Yeah. So pay if you use it. You open it like they. Uh, I was at J. Crew last Christmas. And I remember them saying, "You open up a J. Crew card, you give twenty percent off your whole purchase." My purchase was like eight hundred dollars. I said, "Of course, I'm going to open it." Right. I never used it again, and I paid it off. In it full. encourages you to do a lot of shopping in one place too, which could be really beneficial. All right. Uh, you just have to pay it off. All right. Apple has finally unveiled its 5G smartphone lineup. And we mean lineup because when they released a new phone yesterday, it wasn't just a phone, it was all different ones. It's the iPhone 12, the 12. iPhone 12 Pro. I'm on like six. A new, and then there's the iPhone 12 <laughs> mini. And I'm not kidding. I think I have on. I know I have a seven. I have a seven. What do you, you know? Have? Don't I think you don't have a seven. No, I think it's an I'm eight. telling you. No, it's definitely not an eight. I got a seven. Really? I get your I get your sloppy seconds. So whenever you're done with a the phone, they give it to me. No, they were. No, I'm telling you, that's how the it works company, around here. The company lets you have an eight now. You can go to I'm, an eight. I'm going to Peter Canoni right after this show. <laughs> and I'm demanding an eight. But I want by the an way, eight. just be clear, it's on 12. <laughs> I know we're on 12. <laughs> People look at me and laugh, and I'm like, eh, it's a work phone. Don't laugh. Uh huh. You know, you uh, some people like to get the new technology all the time. It has, uh, depending on which one you're getting, the iPhone 12 mini starts as low as 700, which is low for a new iPhone, but the other ones go up over $1,000, and some of them have three cameras. Some of them have a six-inch screen, which wouldn't even fit into your back pocket so that you could lose it. It's amazing. <laughs> Maybe a six-inch screen would help you. Is you wouldn't it? lose it as much, because it's like this big. Put this in your back pocket. That's not, that's Thicker than six inches? No, I think that's about six inches. Right. Maybe a little bit more. Who knows? Okay. Now. All right. If you like Burger King, well, they're going to give you a chance to win a PS5. Do you know what that is? Uh, it's a PlayStation 5. Oh! <laughs> okay. Uh, now I know Customers what it is. Customers can get a scratch-off game token with a qualifying order. And then you get this amazing game console that everyone wants. Burger King also, of course, has food coupons you could win. So you can have a really healthy evening just playing video games and eating Burger King. <laughs> uh, and watching your UHD TV. Did I get that right? Sounds like my night my son would love, okay? All right, this is very sad news. I was Aww. very sad to see this uh, actress, Conchetta Farrell. She died at the age of 77. I loved her. She was so great on Two and a Half Men. She was that sassy housekeeper. Yeah, And she was, on so, she was such a great character actor on so many different shows throughout the years. Her yes, career spanned decades. And uh, unfortunately, she passed away at the age of 77. What a true sweetheart, an absolute sweetheart. She was just one of those great, you know, character actresses I know, that I you loved her. could root for. And she really, she, she kind of was like the anchor of the show. You know what I mean? She was the constant. Mm -hmm. When everything else was going bazonkers, she was like, I'm and here. And some of her co-hosts, uh, her co-stars did say that she was just a beautiful human being. That's so. good. Nice to see. God rest her soul. Absolutely. For the latest celebrity news, you can watch the all-new People TV. It's right here on Channel 3 at 730. All right, let's check in with Kay and Lawrence for a preview. Hey, guys. Tonight, here's what people are talking about. Desire. At eight years old, I knew that's what I wanted to be. A People Cover Story exclusive with Matthew McConaughey. I write about this in the book. It was in, in, in having to say yes, sir, to my father and his friends and having to shake their hand and look them in the eye. The one consistent thing in my six, seven and eight year old mind in my young, young mind was I knew it was about 
respect for elders, but the one common denominator in my mind was, oh, it's because they're fathers. And that excited me. It, it, it wrote itself into my lineage of going, oh, that's when you've made it. Oh, that's when you become a man. Oh, that's when you're successful. So that became the paramount at the top of my list at eight years old. More with Matthew tonight on People. Interesting. All right.